morning, ladies. C Sharp is a high level object oriented language that is part of the .NET framework. C Sharp is extremely versatile and easy to read and write. It honestly makes me wonder why it isn't used more in the industry. I'm with my production manager, Gary. Gary, do you have anything to add? Okay. One of my favorite things about C Sharp is that it isn't similar to any other language. It has a one of a kind syntax that is completely unique to the C style of programming. C Sharp was developed by some geek at Microsoft, and his name was. Anders Hjelsberg. Like I said, C Sharp molded its way into the industry as an extremely versatile language. I'll get into more of its use cases in a minute, but one thing I want to emphasize really quick is that its syntax, while it's very similar to another language, is very easy to learn and read. And C Sharp is one of my most favorite languages to work with for this reason. I use C Sharp a lot when actually learning how to code, so you can assume that the code I would write with it was, well, horrible. And even looking back now, I can still read and understand most of the code I wrote, and I completely fault this to C Sharp's elegant syntax. Most people choose Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code when choosing to write C Sharp applications. I pride myself on acting like a programming Chad and using Rider from JetBrains. But Visual Studio will have everything you need tooling wise to write mobile and desktop applications. And VS Code is just fine if you really just want to write console applications and you don't need all of the extra tooling that Visual Studio offers. To write the C Sharp main method, it is public static void main string args. I knew we wouldn't escape it. Again, not that the syntax is similar to any other language, but for some reason the main method declaration is exactly the same as Java's. But for the real test, let's output something to the console. This will tell us if C Sharp is better than Java. Console.writeline. Hmm, I'll let it slide this time. C Sharp is statically typed, so when you declare a variable with its name, you denote the type of the variable in front of the name. However, there's also the var keyword. I'm not sure why some statically typed languages do this, but if you're too lazy to type int and want to type var, which would be the same amount of work, you can have the compiler auto infer the type of the variable at runtime. Let's declare some variables and output them to the console. They'll look like this. Now let's talk about everyone's blessing and a curse in the C suite of programming languages memory management. C Sharp, unlike C and C++, has garbage collection. So memory that is used during the runtime cycle of your program will be automatically cleaned up and deleted when they go out of the program scope. Again, this is another reason that C Sharp is much more beginner friendly, but these language features come at a cost of performance. So C Sharp does not and will not perform to the magnitude of C and C++, but it's not all bad news. C Sharp does have native support for pointers and references. So congratulations to all of the titanium ball sack C and C++ developers out there. You aren't losing all of your language features when your code base gets migrated to C Sharp. As Per mentioned, C Sharp is an object oriented language. So any code that you're going to write will be inside of a class. Class declarations are pretty simple as they're just the keyword class and then the name of the class. The classes and objects in C Sharp are pretty standard, so I won't go over them as half of you would be sleeping by private data. But yeah, constructors, public data, private data, blah, blah, blah. C Sharp's object initialization does differ a little bit from C++. As you write the type of the object, give it a name, and then set that equal to a new keyword followed by a constructor call of the specific object. Also, I have my executive producer Arnold here. Arnold, say what's up. It's pretty quiet today. This is great and all, but I want to talk about the .NET framework really quickly as I start to wrap this up. .NET is a free open source development platform developed by Microsoft that assists developers in creating a wide range of softwares. .NET's primary language choice is C Sharp, but if you choose any other language, well, you're weird. What this means for developers is that .NET provides a wide range of libraries and native APIs that developers can use when developing .NET applications. .NET apps can range from cloud services with Azure, desktop applications for Windows, and even mobile development with Xamarin. Is that how you say it? Originally, .NET was Windows only because, well, Microsoft, but nowadays they have native support for deployment to Mac OS and Linux. But the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to C-sharp development is what do I think about it? 7.4 out of 10. Like, change Unity to C++. What are we doing? 